Hello, today's vlog is going to take on a slightly different flavor since we're looking at a topic called mean reversion in the stock market. Mean reversion is kind of what it sounds like. A mean is a statistic, or just another word for an average, and reversion refers to relapse or a return of sorts. So mean reversion is like returning or reverting to an average. In social psychology, mean reversion refers to an interesting concept that when people have a really bad day, the next day usually won't be so bad. Or if someone is in a really good mood, the next day that person won't be feeling quite as great. People's moods and behaviors tend to revert to their average over time when they lean too far one way or the other on a spectrum. Now how does this apply to the stock market? Well, we're getting there. Let's take a look at the efficient market hypothesis before checking out how mean reversion might be present in stock pricing. The efficient market hypothesis states that stock market efficiency causes existing stock prices to always incorporate and reflect all relevant information so that stocks trade at their fair value. This is saying that prices reflect information about the present and future value of a good. In the case of stocks, a stock price will reflect the stock's present and future value to potential investors. If it's a high price, it's a valuable stock. If stocks always trade at fair value, then it's impossible to beat the market through expert stock selection or market timing. Furthermore, prices in the stock market are said to be unpredictable since the fair price already reflects the stock's future value. If changes in the stock prices are unpredictable, then they are random. This hypothesis has been supported and contested throughout the years because there is evidence that sometimes stocks do deviate from their fair value. Can you think of times when this might have happened? University of Chicago professor Richard Thaler presents evidence that price changes in the stock market are not random, however. He instead offers support for the idea that stock prices are mean reverting. In this context, when a stock performs vastly over or under its average price, it will eventually return or revert back to its mean, implying that prices can be predicted to an extent. A strategy of investment that encapsulates this idea is referred to as contrarian investing. It operates under the premise that stock prices are temporarily low and can be expected to revert back to their average. Buying stocks that have lost a lot of value can end up earning an abnormal return. That is the return that is above the normal required return. The stocks purchased under this strategy are losers in the market, sometimes referred to as value stocks. Because they have suffered a loss, the market becomes inappropriately pessimistic about their current future earnings. Thus, they are temporarily undervalued until they begin to revert back to their mean. When they begin to revert back to their mean and increase in value, the investor who bought the stock for an inexpensive price is now rewarded with a stock that has substantially increased in value. The contrarian investment strategy has been replicated enough to warrant substantial agreement on its existence as a viable strategy. However, why it works remains controversial. Proponents of behavioral economics point to the irrationally and systematic reasoning errors exhibited by investors. While other economists stand by the supposition that the strategy is riskier, thus it warrants a higher return. First, let's break down the behavioral economics view of why contrarian investing works. Then we'll look at what more traditional economists say. Behavioral economists think that contrarian investing works because when a stock's price has dropped dramatically, it gives a signal to investors that something is wrong with that stock or that it's not very valuable. With that signal, People won't want to buy the stock. The general public won't want to invest in a stock that's falling, so it becomes dramatically undervalued. Investors become inappropriately pessimistic about the value of the stock. Those who understand mean reversion, however, will notice that the stock price has decreased substantially and understand that over time, the stock price will rise to revert to its average value. The general public are inappropriately pessimistic about the value of the stock because when people make guesses about the future, they give too much weight to events that happened recently. In the context of a stock market decision between glamour stocks and value stocks, the typical investor will note that the glamour stocks have been performing well lately and that their friends have been saying favorable things about them. With this favorable information weighted too heavily for the ordinary investor, she will be excessively optimistic about the future earnings of the glamour stock. Similarly, she will notice the value stock's losing position and its lack of favor within the market, which will cause her to be inappropriately pessimistic about the worth of the stock. The contrarian investor knows better, however, and can take advantage of the irrational behavior of investors. On the flip side, traditional theories state that if people want a higher return on their stocks, they will have to cope with higher risk. This means that if you want to make bank in the stock market, you're going to have to put yourself at a greater risk of losing money. There's also the important concern that sometimes the decline in a stock's price doesn't reflect temporary bad times, which will reverse, but a permanent trend due to inherent problems with the company. Distinguishing this from mean reversion opportunity is often difficult. Other studies about the contrarian investment strategy found that the risks for winning and losing stocks are not constant over time. They found that while the contrarian strategy does earn a small abnormal return, it is not likely to be significant. Overall, the literature has been rather inconclusive, but there does seem to be some merit to suggest that contrarian investment is a viable strategy. 
In this vlog, I hope you learned about what mean reversion is and how it applies to stock market prices, the contrarian investment model, and that humans tend to overvalue information that they've heard recently, as applied to determining a stock's value.